So I'm thinking about buying a Nintendo Switch and taking a picture of it and posting it on a website called Instagram. Do you think that's been done before? What up, what up, what up, what up? What's going on guys? CH from Bruce Vids. CH from Bruce Vids. CH from Bruce Vids. Bruce and Vids! What's going on guys? CH from Bruce and Vids. Hey, I just want to do a really quick thank you video. Some of my videos are getting like a couple thousand views now and uh, it's been really motivating to not give up and quit this. It's been fun. I'm finally learning how to like chop these things up a little bit faster and I can do them before work and then I go to work and come back, upload them and it's been rad. I love YouTube. I love YouTube the most because it's the easiest to quit. That's what attracts me the most to YouTube. I see a lot of people on Instagram and they do like thousands of hashtags and they do spam giveaways to get followers. Um, to me, that, that's kind of for anybody. That's kind of effortless. There is great accounts on Instagram. I follow a lot of funny people, a lot of uh, a lot of good artists, but for the most part, it's just kind of like hashtags and spam giveaways, how most people got their followers. YouTube, you cannot hack. I can't just do hashtags in the titles. I can't just do spam giveaways. You can do giveaways, you can't do spam giveaways. I can't have people repost on their YouTube accounts or whatever. Um, so I think that's why I'm attracted to YouTube the most. It's because it's it's the hardest one to pull off. It is the heartbreaker. It's depressing. It's very depressing. Putting five or six hours together, making a video and putting it out and it gets 50 or 60 views. But that's what kind of attracts me to it. YouTube, Twitch, Patreon, these things you can't hack. You can't just do like hashtags and yada, yada, yada. I'm not hating on anybody on Instagram. I think that I finally figured out why I'm so attracted to YouTube. It's because it's the easiest one to give up on without question. I've seen everybody put a YouTube video out and they'll promote it on Reddit or Instagram and it gets trolled and then they stop doing YouTube and they're back doing their effortless cell phone pictures that take less than two seconds to put out. Not hating on anybody. I'm just thankful for people that actually watch these videos, my analytics, and I see where people watch these things from all over the world and it's fucking awesome. It's super awesome. Um, so that's it. Epic mail day and by epic mail day i got one envelope for my dude matt it's my dude matt out there in born in the bayou matt is the real life papa smurf marty mcfly all grown up what did he send me matt's my dude out there in louisiana we're gonna be drinking beers in about eight more months what did i get what did i get what did i get what did i get link and bruise baby Look at that, I got some stickers. Matt threw me five. I don't remember what I paid for these. I'm not doing these shout outs because people give me these things for free. I give people shout outs because it was a, it was a smooth trade that went really well. And that's it. So check out the link in the bio. All right, so I cannot put out a video for the next week because I'm going down to Uruguay. I'm gonna visit my mom. That's where I'm gonna find my Chrono Trigger complete in box. It's gonna be the greatest thing ever. Check out where I'm staying though. Look at this place that I booked. Look at this, it's like the Donkey Kong Treehouse. 88 bucks a night. I will be down there in like four days. Look at that shit. Damn, I'm gonna be so pumped. Look at that. Vineyards, shit yeah. That's it, I'm going down there. I got my fire pit. Oh, you best believe I'll be chilling out in that hammock, drinking beers, playing my DS Lite. So that's it. I will be back first day of April. This is my first Bruce and Vids video. So I was like driving around, they don't say text and drive, and I had like three cameras out and I was filming myself. That was my one of my best friends I grew up with. His dad owns a bar. And we were gonna do this this like sketch comedy thing where like I go to the bar, grab beers, and he's like, no, you don't have to pay for it, yada yada yada. And he would charge me for that. He's fucking stingy as hell. Uh, his dad has a restaurant too, they still charge me for ranch dressing. That was the joke, but that was that was it. It was me driving in my shitbox, my Toyota Tacoma, and I've got like three cameras that I'm holding on, and I should have got arrested for uh, reckless whatever. Resident Evil 4 PlayStation 2 giveaway. God, that was my old house, and uh, look at this, May 8th, 2015. I used to think that doing giveaways was a good way to get followers on social media, but now I know that it's got nothing to do with that. You wanna put out good content, and like I said, good things will happen organically, uh, and maybe some bad things, but the good outweighs the bad, keep doing it. This was my old house. This was $700 less than I pay now. This was in Lake San Marcos. It was an old retirement community. You see me? How many fingers am I holding up? All right guys, welcome to my giveaway. Uh, there was only five of you guys that participated. But I five people. <laughs> Check it out. I've got all my Resident Evil 4s right there. No background music, no editing. Still got the same microphone. Check out my avocado picker back there. I used to go out at midnight, go up to the avocado orchards and steal all these avocados. 
never got in trouble. Steal like 40, 50 bucks worth of avocados, give them away, give them to my friends. I've got my left-handed Stratocaster back there, Telecaster. Oh, I can't watch this shit anymore. This is too hard to watch. Look at those shitty ear, iPod ear plugs. This is when I used to work out. I used to have like my day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. Pass the controller won this. Five people. I missed that hat. Pass the controller 64, man. It's coming on to you. Hey, thanks to everybody who played. That was when I first started working at the brewery I work at now. I was super pumped. It's a good time of my life. This is one of my favorite videos. Bruise and Bill the Butcher. And I'm looking at these, checking out these videos right now. This is so rad, guys. Thank you so much. 1,900 views for a channel that's got 500 subscribers. That's crazy. I've seen people on Instagram with like 30,000 followers or ghost followers. And they put out a video and it gets less than 1,000 views. I have 500 views and I'm getting this love from you guys. All right, Bruise and Bill the Butcher. A uh, little recap on this. I bought a lav mic. I was When I got into YouTube, I was like so frustrated with how shitty audio was. And audio is everything. It can make a scene scary. It can make a scene happy. It can make... Always listen to the background music, whether you're watching HBO or a YouTube video or a Netflix, whatever. The music is what makes it. And I wanted, and I thought a hundred dollar microphone would like solve all my problems. And I bought this microphone and it sounded like shit. And I put this video out to try to, try to test it out. I've got the microphone clipped to my, to my collar right here. Let's give this a go. Bruise and vids. This is a scene from one of my favorite movies. When? Whatever you like. End of summer. Brown. My house. Carlsbad Village Drive. Seabad Village. God, the audio, audio still mm. sounds so bad. Mm. No, no weapons. No items. No time. Two stock. No making fun of me for only using cloud. Uh, as for the beer. There's a plane going um, by. Just nothing botching. Nothing under 60 IBUs. Nothing under 6%. Good boy. All right, so here it is. This is this is my favorite YouTube video I've ever made. I made this four years ago. I was like 27 or 28. And a little backstory on this is that Plenty of Fish was big at the time. Online dating was huge. And I was so lonely and so horny. And I was striking out so bad trying to meet girls. And I, I was making like nine bucks an hour living in uh, my buddy's garage. And every girl was just so out of my league. And I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna make this parody video of people lying about their online dating profiles. Like how much money they make and what they're into and stuff like that. In this video, I talk about how I'm like a doctor and a lawyer and let's give it a go. And this is the first video I put out and I got flagged for, for copyright infringement because I used a song from iTunes and uh, it got 17,000 views organically. And that would have been, a, that would have made maybe five or six dollars if I didn't, if I owned all the rights to this stuff. Late night, plenty of fish. So ultimately it's me. Oh God. That's 27 year old CH. One in the morning. Oh my God. Username, tuna fish 420. So, in short, it's pretty much, let me turn it down a little bit. It's me drinking a six pack of Smirnoff ice and ultimately just masturbating to lying about my profile. Do you do drugs occasionally? And I'm pretty much just watching Smirnoff ices. I'm, I'm drinking Smirnoff ices and I'm scrolling your profession, lawyer, doctor. How much do you make a year? $150,000 plus. I will never make that in a year. Talk about your hobbies. Drink some more Smirnoff Ice. Hobbies, pugging 40s, going to, Coins, going to Coinstar, collecting unemployment, reminiscing about high school, and living at home. Yep, let's drink all those. Want to meet her?
This was one of the first videos how I kind of learned how to edit. And I think I used Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere. I know how to cook a mean steak. That's her tagline, hanging out in a shark's mouth. It's like, what? Profile picture, you can't even see your face. Hell on heels, foul mouth beef curtain. She's kind of cute. Nah. No, she's not. And then I find the love of my life at the end. You can watch this video if you want to. Oh, here it is. There she is. That's my girl. Little 80 year old lady hanging out in a turtle shell. Yep. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I've always had way too much free time. That's it, guys. I actually got to get to work. Uh, I got to be at work in like 45 minutes. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them in the comment section below. If you guys have any comments of camera angles or it sounds like shit or I am awkward, post them in the comment section below. Post them. I can take it. Anytime you put out content, you're putting yourself out there ultimately to be judged. And you want good feedback, but sometimes you get the bad feedback because it was bad content or it was annoying content. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. If you guys have any more questions or comments, post them in the comment section below. I gotta get to work. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to Uruguay. I'm, I'm bringing my laptop so I might upload a video. Um, you guys are the best, man. One day, me and you are gonna get together and we're gonna eat good, we're gonna drink good, and we're gonna play some video games. Thanks for watching, guys. CH, Bruce and Vids. I gotta go to work. Everybody have a good one. Don't drink and drive. Drink and then get an Uber. Talk soon. You the best. Tune in to next week's video where I might make a video about you. Cheers, guys. Uh, let's go to work.